and welcome to the May 18th Chaos Community Weekly Call. Um, here is the minutes. Here are the minutes. Here is the minutes. Here's the document. If you would like to add your name to the list of attendees, that would be amazing. If not, that's also completely valid and fine. I hope everyone's doing all right today. Um, as I was just saying, we, ha we do have a short agenda. So if there are things that you would like to talk about, feel free to add them on to the end. Um, we really only have two things. Um, so we will go ahead and, and just jump in. I am, uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Elizabeth. I'm the community manager. That's why I'm facilitating these weekly community calls, if, in case you're wondering. Um, so that's why. But the first thing on our agenda is to, of course, congratulate and welcome our Google Summer of Code students. Hooray, hooray, hooray. We're so happy to see you. Chaos uh, was thankful to get six students this summer. So we are super, super excited to have you. Um, I would like, if, if you're one of our Google Summer of Code students and you would like to introduce yourself and tell us what you're going to be working on, that would be amazing. Um, before we do that, I, I don't know, Georg, do you want to say a little bit about anything? Because you're kind of been the one to really facilitate this whole um, initiative, so I can, yeah. Welcome uh, to our Google Summer of Code students. Super excited to have you. We received many amazing applications, and we <laughs> we're hoping to work with more. But sorry if you weren't selected. Then it was not necessarily because of the quality of your proposal. We just had limitations. For those who were accepted, we are now in the community bonding phase. So we now have a month for you to get to know chaos better, to ask all of the important questions that you need answered. There are no dumb questions. The mentors should be setting up some time to get to know you and discuss your project. What was in the original project proposal, we'll have to go over that and start to nail down some details on what that will look like in the, in the um, I forgot how many weeks we have for the development period. But yeah, that's what we'll be working on over the next couple of weeks, uh, get you set up. And then soon we'll, we look forward to working with you. So I listed the students um, in the, the minutes. I don't see Yeming in here um, or Rashmi. I don't see Rashmi. So we'll just go to the next one, which is Yash, which is a familiar face to us. Um, and it looks like Yash just left. So <laughs> he got the heck out of town. So he'll maybe be back. Um, Anuj is not here either. Dhruv is here. Hi, Dhruv. Do you want to say hello and introduce yourself? Tell us what you're going to be working on. Hello, everyone. So I'm Dhruv. Uh, I'm from India. I, I'm currently in my second year of Mumbai University. I'm pursuing computer engineering. And yeah, so I'm working on building uh, a shared data resource for dependencies, risks, and vulnerabilities in an open source software. So, and I'm super excited to it because before joining uh, this working group meetings, I never knew dependencies were such a big deal. <laughs> so it's, it just blew my mind and I'm just very excited to get started. Thank you. Yeah. We're really glad you're, you're here and that you're sticking around. Um, looks like Yash is back. So Yash, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us what you're going to be working on? Oh, that's okay. You can drop it in the chat if that's easier, if your net is, is kind of coming in and, in and out. I, I think a lot of people already know you anyway, but um, it's nice to introduce yourself. So just drop it in the chat when you get a chance. I guess I can talk while it's working. So hello everyone, I'm Yes, And yeah, um, I'll be working on the automation process of the metrics release with Rithik and it's pretty great. I'm very excited for the summer. That's all I have. 
you are it's a great community i already know that we we're, re we're really glad Thank you. you're here and ritik do you want to introduce yourself yeah i can introduce myself so i think i'm familiar with most of you so if you don't know hi i'm ritik malik and i will be working on the idea of automation metric release process with yash and i just saw that uh, spelling of my name is incorrect one second So, I'm yeah, so sorry, I did that. <laughs> oh, actually, it reminds me of Rami Malik. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Chaos is a great community. I've been, uh, I think I've spent around two months. And, yeah, I'm uh, enjoying it. And I hope to have a great time ahead. And uh, just a little trivia. You might remember Ria from last GSOC. So, she's one of my colleagues. In fact, her role number is next to mine. <laughs> Yay! I love Ria. She's awesome. <laughs> Tell her to come back and say yeah. hi. She doesn't have to do any work. She can just come and say hi. <laughs> we'll just look at her happy face and that'll make us happy. She did some really great work with mm -hmm. Chaos Project. She's awesome. Yeah, she worked on SCMS, I think. Yep. Well, we are very, very happy to have you all here. Um, do, do you have any questions for the community or does the community have questions for you all? I don't have questions. I'm just excited. So welcome. <laughs> um, I've been working with the, the dependency working group, well, the risk working group talking about dependency. So I'm pretty excited to, to have more support and implementation there because we've been a lot of talk and not a lot of action. So I'm hoping that your presence will help to improve that. I'm, I'll do my best. We have faith in you. We know that you're going to be awesome already. Any other comments or questions for our students? I'd just like to uh, uh, thank both uh, Riddick and Yash for all the, the work they've been doing uh, prior to being selected uh, as Google Summer of Code students. Uh, they, uh, they're both fairly recognizable to the community because they've been they've been making a lot of pull requests. So thank you both. Yeah, big plus one on that. All right. Well, we will go ahead and move on. Um, like literally the only other thing that's on the agenda today is just, I just wanted to mention in case anyone's interested in submitting a paper for the um, Open Source Summit um, slash Embedded Linux slash OSPOCon conference in Seattle in September. The um, CFP has a few weeks left, but it does close on June 13th. So if you're interested in submitting something, then you should probably do that sooner than later. And if you um, are a newer speaker and you would like some feedback on your abstract or do you want to kick around some ideas, I'm sure there are plenty of people in this group that will be happy to help you with that. So just uh, drop a note in the in the mailing list or, or somewhere else, or if you're on the call today and you have something um, you want to bring up, that's also completely fine. We would love to help you. I think we have a few community members who have submitted talks there. Um, I am going to submit one as well. So hopefully somebody, some of us will get it, will have the opportunity to speak there. Any questions, comments? I guess from the risk working group, we are writing two or three proposals. So maybe we'll submit from there and one from the value group. Sounds good. The talk I'm submitting is um, just uh, health metrics for community managers specifically. 
So I'm going to try to get in that community manager slash leadership track. So it'll be a, a fun informal talk if it gets elected. Anybody else want to mention their talk that they're submitting or questions, anything about this? I think uh, I'm going to submit the birds of feather for a video board to talk about the conversation we had on the mailing list that Matthew started um, to, yeah, have, have more on, on that conversation there. And from the risk working group, we are submitting a talk on the dependency. Like we haven't finalized that. We have written like two or three talks. We'll discuss with the community and then finalize it. One is on the dependency. One is on the risk aspect of uh, uh, open source software. So these are the two main talks. Sounds excellent. I submitted one on being a new analyst to open source analytics. So it's a little bit more focused on just understanding the data and where and how the data is messy and confusing. Um, and kind of all the things that I wish I knew before I started working heavily with source control data and virtual control systems. So it's sort of a an analyst precursor, and then we'll have a discussion about metrics. We'll have a discussion around data collection, transparency, and ethics, kind of around that, but it's more centric around the data problem. Excellent. I would personally attend all of those talks. So they're a shoe in. <laughs> if I was on the committee, but I'm not. So I don't know how much it's worth. Um, yeah, so we have nothing else to talk about yet again. We're so efficient. I, I think it's because Matt's not here. Don't tell him I said that, but yeah. Is there anything we can help with in terms of planning a meetup around the OSS event? Uh, so we have a small committee um, of people that are come, we've come together on Slack, but we have not really done much yet so I guess we're kind of well I mean I guess we don't have to wait for Matt to uh, confirm a space for us there right like we could start talking about things I think yeah because we should be talking about like how long we want it to be um, how are we going to run the call for proposals what kind of sessions do we want and Sophia you are more than welcome to join us for those discussions yeah I was going to say it sounds like we have another volunteer but <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? I'm a relatively new user to Slack, as in I just activated an account so I could get into the Chaos Slack. <laughs> um, Our apologies but, for that. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good forcing function for me to actually try to use it. Um, so should I just try to find that group or do you have to add me? I, can I add just you. added you oh, because there it's you a go. private. Uh, the... Okay. Yeah, it's a private channel because we'll talk about things like CFPs and things that aren't necessarily public. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Last time we planned ChaosCon, we had this amazing routine where we would hijack these weekly meetings. And after the agenda was done, we would talk about the conference and just check in. So I'd be perfectly happy to switch gears and start talking about ChaosCon and address the points that Don mentioned that we need to think about. I'd be up for that. That would honestly make me feel a lot better that I wasn't just like dismissing the meeting after like 15 minutes. So I would love to have productive time. That would be amazing. And that will make me look way better as a facilitator. So thank you, Georg. Selfishly, so, thank you. So this does mean that if you are not interested in actual planning logistics for ChaosCon, you are welcome to drop and nobody's going to um, think poorly of you. Exactly. So we can officially end the meeting and then shift gears. Should I stop the recording too or keep the recording going? Like, is this going to be stuff we want to put on out in the open or not? Nah? Let's stop the recording. Okay. All right. 
we will do that.